News, Views, Voices of the Global Indian Community, India Abroad. classes in the evening and we became fast friends and so um, but I knew uh, that Yehuda came here and I um, he I, I knew that he had you know started to find these kids and uh, he then came to me and he said Leslie why don't you tell this story yeah. it took about five five and a half years to to make the film and a year to edit. And you Take just me. keep filming and you just try to be a fly on the wall. Honestly, I didn't understand most of the time. We don't speak the same language. When the time, the scene where Manisha's mother, and he's writing the check and she starts crying, I had no idea what was being said. But I was standing against the wall, like over here like this, and I saw her crying and I just start crying too. <laughs> because she's crying, you know? And I had, but I had no idea what she was saying. But I, um, when people watch this film, they, their eyes and their minds are opened to, wow, we didn't know about this, how they revere uh, older people in India. Because in the United States, we do not revere people who are over 70. We put them, you know, in a, in a retirement home and if, uh, you know, they don't want you as a teacher, um, how Manish gives a, a check to his mom and the, and the mom says, don't give it to your dad. I mean, somebody called out, well, and that my kid never gave me a check. <laughs> and, and Manish explained that that's a tradition in India, that, you know, and that, you know, just like he says, our parents took care of us and we take care of our parents again eye-opening just eye-opening uh for americans and uh, like the grandmother everybody in the u.s loves that grandmother because they said oh we had the stereotype that it was like that women don't have any power whatsoever and so manish explains well that was my that's my father's mother so it's about seniority so it has really opened um you know, it does have universal themes, but it is about India, and I we I just love that it's really open. People. If you guys don't know, is here on a Fulbright scholarship right now, actually trying to get Call Me Dancer into public schools in India to make it part of the dance curriculum and the arts curriculum. Call Me Dancer. 